Hey there guys, Tills20 here and welcome back to Kabazoo. Apologies, it has been a while since I last recorded a Kabazoo episode and it's probably been like two months since I've even played Planet Zoo. It's been a while. Um, I went through a real phase of playing it, I was playing it all the time, more than City Skylines, and then, um, yeah, just sort of jumped off for a little bit, so apologies. Um, this is actually recorded, this was recorded probably about a month or so ago. And I'm just slapping down the commentary for it now. Um, I will be back in Kabazoo. I've just I'm sort of easing off of my workload at the moment, which is pretty good. It means that we can start recording some other series. And I do really love Planet Zoo, but um, don't expect it to be a weekly thing. It's probably going to be like a monthly thing that I jump in and out of. Um, just watching this footage right now, I'm already feeling really inspired. So I probably will jump in and play the game straight after I record this. But yeah, don't expect it all the time. It's not going to be a weekly thing. Um, just when I feel inspired, you can probably tell, you probably all are very much aware that this game is very, very time consuming. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it takes a while to record these episodes. So, disclaimer, I don't move any rhinos into this enclosure in this episode because we are still playing unpaused. Um, the zoo is not ready to be open to the public. Uh, this is not sandbox mode. I do plan to try and make a profit in this game and um, also it's just I just prefer playing with um, with money enabled and seeing the park run as it should so I'm gonna leave it unpaused so I'm gonna leave it paused for probably the next few episodes until we um, yeah start getting stuff in that we can actually start making money and start pleasing our guests um, they're not really gonna come in and appreciate looking at the trees that I'm placing out right now just wasting all my money but they need animals and we've got none so at the moment we're doing a pretty bad job at being a zoo <laughs> we just got a whole bunch of trees and some um, palaces and some staff rooms but that's about it I guess would hate it if they were to come into the zoo so yeah over the next couple of episodes I do want to start getting in some animals and yeah we're taking it pretty slow if you can't tell so just to quickly recap on the last episode because I actually asked you guys a question whether or not you were new to my channel if you were watching me because of Planet Zoo or if you just found my channel um, and I had a very big overwhelming no. <laughs> Most people, um, all people who commented said that they watched me because of my City Skyline stuff so I don't know that was just a bit of a bummer. I sort of was hoping to branch out and uh, meet some new people but apparently YouTube hasn't, uh, I don't know, hasn't really pushed down to any of these videos to anybody new. I think it only just sort of went to um, the people who already subscribed to my channel. So. If you are brand new to the series, or sorry, to my channel, then um, let me know in the comment section because it would be nice to know whether or not this is reaching new people. Uh, if not, no problem at all because I'm happy just to be releasing videos for you dudes. So, <laughs> thank you for watching. Um, Alright, so what we are doing at the moment, I've um, just been working on the main entrance. Um, all those plants and all those uh, pathways, they're like the main... Um, that's like the main area where people are coming into the park uh, at the moment. It's just plants and it's just pathways and I plan to um, put some uh, Some sort of like enclosures around there. I'm thinking there might be some cool interaction um, Like some sort of enclosure that's built onto this wall. Um, you can probably see it in the top right corner But um, yeah, this wall I plan to sort of like snake or what snake around and then there's gonna be like an entrance to the fort rather than like an entrance to the zoo and it's gonna be I guess already inside the zoo um, but then people will go through the entrance of like the old fort that was once there and I think that'd be really cool but I also think that um, it might be cool to have like a one of those like guard towers you can see another one of them in the screen at the moment but um, yeah it'd be pretty cool to have like some sort of enclosure that was sort of built within that um, old guard tower like well, let, me, let me know what you think about that but I think that might be what I do next in terms of um, building enclosures um, but again not moving in any animals at the moment because yeah I think we'll do all that like all at once um, rather than um, just absolutely tank our zoo <laughs> because I think everybody would just hate um, what it is at the moment uh, so um, what I'm doing right now is I'm just like putting down the bones for this um, enclosure I'm just copying and pasting a lot of that stone work that I um, did um, a little while ago. I'm still really happy with how those, how that cliff face turned out. I think it actually looks really quite realistic. Um, and that's what I love about this game is how realistic it is. It is just a beautiful looking game. It is so amazing. Um, it kind of makes me want to play Planet Coaster, but um, 
again, I just, I don't think I have the time to <laughs> probably play Planet Coaster, um, even though I am actually a massive uh, coaster enthusiast, if you, you might not know that, but I, I really am. Um, not so much a zoo enthusiast, but this game is just so beautiful that I, I really just like playing with the um, different materials that we have. Um, so yeah, just I think that makes a pretty good entrance for the um, zookeepers to get into the enclosure. Just a very low-key uh, dirt pathway that leads down to that. And um, you'll see I'll cover it up with a bit of bushes too, so that it's a little bit more secret, a little more hidden. Um, and then I thought, you know, sticking with the theme of like this crumbling fort and everything sort of being built into it, um, I thought this would be a really cool spot for like a um, like a like a little bit of a cafe that was sort of built into a, an old um, fortification, or maybe it's like a little palace, or I don't know what it is. It's 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 something. It's a little structure. Um, but I sort of thought it'd be cool to have it so that you know the base of it was the old, you know, was like dated back to the fort, and then maybe the zoo then built something on top of it so it's kind of this mix of architecture um, I struggle big time with it I mean this is where I lose a lot of in, um, uh, enthusiasm for this game is struggling with these pieces because um, I've got like no prior experience with Planet Coaster so I you know I've got really no idea like what you are seeing me do right now is like the best version of what I was doing <laughs> I probably cut out so much footage where I'm just like fumbling around and like just absolutely hating what I'm doing uh, you'll actually see me use a lot of pre-built stuff from the workshop I am not opposed to doing that um, it's, it's something that I really love doing and it's the same with City Skylines is I like the process of um, making something complete like a full park or a full city or something that is um, totally constructed um, otherwise I think that sometimes you can spend too long um, you know fiddling with these pieces and trying to make everything look perfect um, I think that if you can find the perfect piece or the f perfect building or whatever it is on the workshop I am totally down for doing that um, so I will actually download a whole bunch I actually already have downloaded a whole bunch of different um, uh, different structures that I will be placing down and um, I will also be building my own because you know I do I do enjoy the mechanics and building something that is a bit more tailored to to the environment but yeah I think if I was going to do every single one I might lose my mind um, I actually do the same thing when it comes to intersections and city skylines I tend to do pre-built ones rather than build my own kind of like 50 50 I kind of jump in and out of them so uh, I thought that this would be a cool little um, like balcony where people could um, sit and have like a um, you know bite to eat or a drink whatever I uh, ended up deciding is going to be served in this um, little cafeteria and I just thought it'd be something really small uh, pretty much just like a kitchen at inside there and um, a counter and that was about it nobody's um, going in there to eat it's a very very small structure um, something that I'm struggling with this game is figuring out how big people are and how big to build these structures I tend to go too small rather than too big this is this structure is really 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 tiny um, it's only like two by two and then it wasn't until I opened it or put a shop in there and I saw the person and I was like oh man this is <laughs> this is a really small building um, and then just like placing another path that works much easier than I expected and it already made this um kind of like a pretty decent looking fence that I was like okay cool I don't need to make that anymore and then I had the stupid idea to build this um, this turret and I can't remember if I keep it or not but um, again this this really killed me <laughs> this took me so long to do um, mostly because I couldn't get I couldn't figure out exactly how I wanted it to look I didn't I didn't know whether it was gonna be made out of stone or whether it was gonna be made of this white plasterboard that I was using and then um, I wanted there to be like a bit of a turret at the top but then I found like the perfect piece but it was sandstone and you can't recolor the sandstone like I get why they don't let you recolor everything but uh, it kills me it really it hurts it hurts when you can't recolor something when you find like the perfect piece and then you can't recolor it it's um yeah it's awful and um, you can also see that I decided not to put that um, that awning over the top of the seating area. I decided just to leave it open and have some shaded um, umbrellas. I thought that sort of worked a little bit nicer and thought it was like a little bit more um, 
low key. I, I sort of wanted this whole area to be, um, you know, not too fancy. It's really just a um, area that people are sitting and it, I think it's also really cool spots to um, see the rhino. So you might actually walk down to uh, one of the viewing platforms, but they can also just like chill and eat some food or drink or whatever and um, get like a really good spot at looking at the rhinos. And um, come to think about it, it's going to be a really picturesque spot just regardless. There's going to be, um, well actually you can see and you'll be able to see in the cinematics at the very end, but the uh, fort is just looming over this enclosure and it just looks, it looks really, really nice, especially at sunset. I'll have to um, include some sunset. Um, I think actually the opening cinematics are in a sunset view, but yeah, I mean, this fort just looks so, so good from, um, from a distance and in the sunset when the lighting is really nice, again, this game just like really cranks it up when it comes to the lighting. It's really quite amazing. Uh, I've been watching a lot of um, Michael Sheets, who's just, I mean, you guys know who Michael Sheets is, but far out, that guy, that guy makes me, you know, there's like people that you can watch and you go like, oh, I feel really inspired. Like, I'm going to, I want to try and do something like that. And then you watch Michael Sheets and you go, you know what? Stuff this game. <laughs> I, I can't do it. I, I've got nothing on this. Uh, yeah. And like I, I watched, somebody recommended him and I was like, oh, I'll give him a go. And after that, I was like, okay, I, I can't watch this. This just this is brutal. Uh, his stuff is just like next level. So don't come to my channel expecting anything like that. You're pretty much just gonna see me clunking my way through this game and um, yeah, it'll probably be like two years until we finish this zoo, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, we'll see how we go. Um, but let me know what you guys are vibing with this, um, with this game because I sort of like jump in and out of it. I go from like, getting like super inspired and super keen on it and then um and then it kind of like loses a little bit of its buzz on me and I might um you know stop playing for a little while and I, I actually can't really tell if it's really had the buzz that people were expecting you know I think this game just looks amazing and it's it, if the way that like all the mechanics are really quite incredible but I think that people are kind of holding on to Planet Coaster more than they are with this game um, even though this game looks so much better. I'm not really sure if the gameplay is really, um, it's really like keeping people engaged because I'm just seeing a, a bit of a drop off in the community. I don't know if you guys have noticed that too, but it sort of feels like people are super keen on it and then, I don't know, sort of dropped off a bit. I think they might need to release an, another expansion or something or improve a little bit more of the mechanics to um, get people uh, involved a little bit more. Um, I guess the good thing for me is that I have Pretty much no experience with this game, so I don't even know what it feels like to have a park that's running nicely. <laughs> so like the whole the whole mechanics of the game is still like still very brand new to me and um, still kind of exciting. All right, so the enclosure. How about we talk about the enclosure for a change? <laughs> oh god, it's like 14 minutes in and I haven't even spoken about what the title of the video is. So this enclosure, I have this um, this one pathway that leads pretty much across the edge of this um, of this lake, and this is where people are going to be able to see the rhinos. I thought that having this barrier of um, this of the water and also this um, this this fence too, sort of thought that would like made a bit of a realistic looking barrier and also um, provided a bit of privacy for the rhinos when we move them in. Hopefully they're going to be quite happy with this enclosure. Um, if you're wondering about the specs and uh, whether or not I have enough land for them, um, I was checking and making sure that, you know, the perimeter was fine and, um, you know, the amount of space that they had was okay because there is actually like a, it's like a sheer cliff. Um, on the other side of this um, of this lake, so you know they they really um, don't have. It looks like they don't have much space, but this enclosure is actually quite large. Um, and I think that this will be like probably one of the main areas for the zoo. I think this will be, you know, being the Indian rhino. I think that this is going to be like one of the draws that get people into the zoo because it is like a very picturesque, very nice enclosure. And I thought, you know, let's kind of like give it a bit of a um, like rustic uh, safari type of vibe to it. So, you know, got this wooden, not this wooden, you have this dirt path and there's not really much shelter and it's kind of open and, uh, you know, there's nothing really too grand about it. But, um, you know, I think that this was probably something that was first open in the park and probably hasn't changed a hell of a lot since the um, opening of it. So I wanted to keep it that way. I didn't really want to do, um, you know, too much detail in terms of like the, the viewing area, you know, we're not inside any sort of buildings. 
and hopefully it functions pretty nicely. I, I can imagine actually people probably not making the journey all the way down to the last path. Um, you know, just something that I remember from this game is that the guests are a little bit dumb. <laughs> they tend to only look at one angle and won't really branch out to um, get to other vantage points, which I, I think might be something they'll end up fixing in the game. Because I'm pretty sure in Planet Coaster they had the ability to you know, make viewpoints or um, points of interest to get people around the park a little bit better. Um, at the moment I'm pretty sure most people are just hanging around in one area. But we'll have to see. I'm pretty sure we'll open up the park and everything will just totally suck. <laughs> so we'll have to see how, how it all works. Alright, so remember how I said that I'm going to be using a bunch of stuff from the workshop? This is um, a billboard, like a, a poster information... In, what am I trying to say here? It's a board full of information. There we go. And it's all about rhinos. And I just grabbed it from the workshop because it looks pretty nice, it's pretty decent, and I just thought I'd just change it a little bit. And this is something that I'll probably end up doing with a lot of my stuff. I'll um, grab something that I don't think I could probably make in this game or like something that I would really struggle with and then um, I just modify it just so it's a little bit different fits in with the scene a little bit better and yeah I think this works quite nicely the small text is I don't even know how they did that I think it's like a piece of wood that's super small and on its side it's pretty um it's pretty tiny but it works quite well but I dare say I'll be placing a fair bit of these around the park and I'll probably even copy and paste the the one that I made here and just change the animal on it of course um, but not all animals and not all um, enclosures will get this sort of board. We'll um, only just save it for the ones that I think are pretty special, like these um, Indian rhinos. Looking forward to moving them in and I'm looking forward to the next episode too. I mean it, I'm actually going to jump into Planet Zone and play because watching this makes you want to get back into it and um, do a bit of building. Uh, let me know what you think and what you are vibing for this series. What do you want me to work on next and um, the direction as well because it's very much I'd, I'd need you guys <laughs> because I have no idea, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, so hit me up in the comment section if you have any ideas of things that I can add into the park or anything on the workshop that you think I should grab and that's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Much appreciated and I'll see you in the next one whenever that is. Alright, see ya.